Configuring the local security policy, this tutorial is created using Windows XP. However, Windows Vista and Server 2003 have a similar process. To configure the local security policy, we're going to go to the Start menu and click Control Panel. Then click Administrative Tools and then Local Security Policy to open the local security settings. We're going to go ahead and open the Local Policies folder. Then we're going to expand the Security Options folder. The first local security setting we're looking for is DCOM Machine Access Restrictions in SDDL syntax. We want to ensure that this security setting is set to not defined. The next one we're looking for can be found right underneath DCOM Machine Launch Restrictions in SDDL syntax also should be set to not defined. If either of these two policies are defined, you'll need to talk to your IT pr professional or network administrator who has the necessary rights to be able to access and modify these policies. You will want to use the scroll bar to scroll down to network access. Let everyone permissions apply to anonymous users. We want to make sure that this is enabled. Right now, our security setting is set to disabled. Right click and select properties. Then we want to go and click the enable button. Click apply and OK when you're ready to save your setting. Now we're going to scroll and look for network access sharing the security model for local accounts. We want to right click again, select properties to change the settings. The default setting is guest only local users authenticate as guest. We want to go ahead and change that to classic, local users authenticate as themselves. When you're done, click apply and then OK. Sometimes the guest only can prevent OPC connections. These are the only local security settings that we'll need to change. For support, FAQs, or more information, please visit support.softwaretoolbox.com